Julia Roberts. Julia Fiona Roberts, born October 28, 1967, is an American actress and producer. She became a Hollywood star after headlining the romantic comedy Pretty Woman, 1990, which grossed $464 million worldwide. She has won three Golden Globe Awards, out of eight nominations, and has been nominated for four Academy Awards for her film acting, winning the Academy Award for Best Actress for her performance in Aaron Brockovich, 2000. Her films have collectively brought box office receipts of over 2.8 billion U.S. dollars, making her one of the most successful actresses in terms of box office receipts. Her most successful films include Mystic Pizza, 1988, Steel Magnolias, 1989, Pretty Woman, 1990, Sleeping with the Enemy, 1991, The Pelican Brief, 1993, My Best Friend's Wedding, 1997, Notting Hill, 1999. Runaway Bride, 1999, Ocean's 11, 2001, Ocean's 12, 2004, Charlie Wilson's War, 2007, Valentine's Day, 2010, Eat Pray Love, 2010, Money Monster, 2016, and Wonder, 2017. Roberts was nominated for the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Limited Series or Movie for her performance in the HBO television film The Normal Heart, 2014. Roberts was the highest paid actress in the world throughout most of the 1990s and in the first half of the 2000s. Her fee for 1990s Pretty Woman was 300,000 US dollars. In 2003, she was paid an unprecedented 25 million dollars for her role in Mona Lisa Smile, 2003. As of 2007, Roberts's net worth was estimated to be 140 dollars million. She has been named the world's most beautiful woman by People a record 5 times. Roberts was born on October 28, 1967, in Smyrna, Georgia, to Betty Lou Bredemus, 1934 to 2015, and Walter Grady Roberts, 1933 to 1977. She is of English, Scottish, Irish, Welsh, German, and Swedish descent. Her father was a Baptist, her mother a Roman Catholic, and she was raised Catholic. Her older brother Eric Roberts, born 1956 from whom she was estranged for several years until 2004, older sister Lisa Roberts Gillen, B.1965, and niece Emma Roberts, are also actors. She also had a younger half-sister named Nancy Motes, 1976-2014. Roberts' parents, one-time actors and playwrights, met while performing in theatrical productions for the armed forces. They later co-founded the Atlanta Actors and Writers Workshop in Atlanta, off Juniper Street in Midtown. They ran a children's acting school in Decatur, Georgia, while they were expecting Julia. The children of Martin Luther King Jr. and Coretta Scott King attended the school. Walter Roberts was their daughter Yolanda Denise King's acting coach. As a thank you for his service, Mrs. King paid Mrs. Roberts's hospital bill when Julia was born. Her parents married in 1955. Her mother filed for divorce in 1971, the divorce was finalized in early 1972. From 1972, Roberts lived in Smyrna, Georgia, where she attended Fritz Healy Elementary School, Griffin Middle School, and Campbell High School. In 1972, her mother married Michael Motes, who was abusive and often unemployed. Roberts despised him. The couple had Nancy, who died at 37 on February 9, 2014, of an apparent drug overdose. The marriage ended in 1983. With Betty Lou divorcing Motes on cruelty grounds, she had stated that marrying him was the biggest mistake of her life. Roberts's own father died of cancer when she was 10. Roberts wanted to be a veterinarian as a child. She also played the clarinet in her school band. After graduating from Smyrna's Campbell High School, she attended Georgia State University but did not graduate. She later headed to New York City to pursue a career in acting. Once there, she signed with a click modeling agency and enrolled in acting classes. Roberts made her first big screen appearance in the film Satisfaction, 1988, alongside Liam Neeson and Justine Bateman, as a band member looking for a summer gig. She had previously performed a small role opposite her brother Eric, in Blood Red. She has two words of dialogue, filmed in 1987, although it was not released until 1989. Her first television appearance was as a juvenile rape victim in the initial season of the series Crime Story with Dennis Farina. In the episode titled The Survivor, broadcast on February 13, 1987. Her first critical success with moviegoers was her performance in the independent film Mystic Pizza in 1988, 
That same year, she had a role in the fourth season finale of Miami Vice. In 1989, she was featured in Steel Magnolias, as a young bride with diabetes, and received both her first Academy Award nomination, as Best Supporting Actress, and first Golden Globe Award win, Motion Picture Best Supporting Actress, for her performance. Roberts became known to worldwide audiences when she starred with Richard Gere in the Cinderella Pygmalion-esque story, Pretty Woman, in 1990, playing an assertive freelance hooker with a heart of gold. Roberts won the role after Michelle Pfeiffer, Molly Ringwald, Meg Ryan, Jennifer Jason Lee, Karen Allen, and Daryl Hannah, her co-star in Steel Magnolias, turned it down. The role also earned her a second Oscar nomination, this time as Best Actress, and second Golden Globe Award win as Motion Picture Best Actress, Musical or Comedy. Pretty Woman saw the highest number of ticket sales in the U.S. ever for a romantic comedy, and made $463.4 million U.S. dollars worldwide. Robert Starr is one of five students conducting clandestine experiments that produce near-death experiences in the supernatural thriller Flatliners, in 1990. Her next film was the commercially successful thriller Sleeping with the Enemy, 1991 in which she took on the role of a battered wife who escapes her abusive husband, played by Patrick Bergen, and begins a new life in Iowa. Roberts played Tinker Bell in Steven Spielberg's Hook, and starred as a nurse in Joel Schumacher's romance film Dying Young. Both films were also released in 1991, to a highly positive commercial response. Roberts took a two-year hiatus from the screen, during which she made no films other than a cameo appearance in Robert Altman's The Player, 1992. In early 1993, she was the subject of a People magazine cover story asking, What happened to Julia Roberts? Roberts starred with Denzel Washington in the thriller The Pelican Brief, 1993, based on John Grisham's 1992 novel of the same name. In it, she played a young law student who uncovers a conspiracy, putting herself and others in danger. The film was a commercial success, grossing $195.2 million US dollars worldwide. None of her next film releases, I Love Trouble, 1994, Pret-a-Porter, 1994, and Something to Talk About, 1995, were particularly well received by critics. In 1996, she guest starred in the second season of Friends, episode 13, the one after the Super Bowl, and appeared with Liam Neeson in the historical drama Michael Collins, portraying Kitty Kiernan, the fiancé of the assassinated Irish revolutionary leader. Stephen Freer's Mary Riley her other 1996 film, was a critical and commercial failure. By the late 1990s, Roberts enjoyed renewed success in the romantic comedy genre. In My Best Friend's Wedding, 1997, she starred opposite Dermot Mulroney, Cameron Diaz, and Rupert Everett, as a food critic who realizes she's in love with her best friend and tries to win him back after he decides to marry someone else. The film was a global box office hit and is considered to be one of the best romantic comedy films of all time. In 1998, Roberts appeared on Sesame Street opposite the character Elmo, and starred in the drama Stepmom, alongside Susan Sarandon, revolving around the complicated relationship between a terminally ill mother and the future stepmother of her children. While reviews were mixed, the film made US$159.7 million US dollars worldwide. Roberts paired with Hugh Grant for Notting Hill, 1999 portraying a famous actress falling in love with a struggling bookstore owner. The film displaced four weddings and a funeral as the biggest British hit in the history of cinema, with earnings equaling US$363 million US dollars worldwide. An exemplary of modern romantic comedies in mainstream culture, the film was also received well by critics. CNN reviewer Paul Clinton called Roberts the queen of romantic comedy, whose reign continues, and remarked, Notting Hill stands alone as another funny and heartwarming story about love against all odds. She reunited with Richard Gere and Gary Marshall, both of Pretty Woman, to play a woman who has left a string of fiancés at the altar in Runaway Bride, also released in 1999. Runaway Bride received generally mixed reviews from critics, but it did very well at the box office, grossing US$309.4 million US dollars around the globe. Roberts was a guest star on the episode Empire of the television series Law and Order, with regular cast member Benjamin Bratt, at that time her boyfriend. She earned a nomination for Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Guest Actress in a Drama Series. In 2000, Roberts portrayed real life environmental activist Erin Brockovich in her fight against the Pacific Gas and Electric Company, 
PG&E, of California in the film Erin Brockovich, for which she received 20 million U.S. dollars, Rolling Stone magazine's Peter Travers wrote. Robert shows the emotional toll on Erin as she tries to stay responsible to her children and to a job that has provided her with a first taste of self-esteem, while Entertainment Weekly Critico and Gleiberman felt that it was a delight to watch Roberts, with her flirtatious sparkle and undertow of melancholy. Erin Brockovich made $256.3 million US dollars worldwide, and Roberts won the Academy Award for Best Actress for her role. In December 2000, Roberts, who had been the highest-paid actress through the 1990s, became the first actress to make the Hollywood Reporter's list of the 50 most influential women in show business since the list had begun in 1992. Roberts' first film following Erin Brockovich was the road gangster comedy, The Mexican, 2001, giving her a chance to work with longtime friend Brad Pitt. The film's script was originally intended to be filmed as an independent production without major motion picture stars, but Roberts and Pitt, who had for some time been looking for a project they could do together, learned about it and decided to sign on. Though advertised as a typical romantic comedy star vehicle, the film does not focus solely on the Pitt-slash-Roberts relationship and the two shared relatively little screen time together. The Mexican earned $66.8 million at the U.S. box office. Her next film, the romantic comedy America's Sweethearts, also 2001, starred Roberts along with Billy Crystal, John Cusack, and Catherine Zeta-Jones. Directed by Joe Roth. The Hollywood farce centers on a super couple, Gwen and Eddie, who separate when she dumps him for another man. Roberts portrayed Gwen's once overweight sister and assistant who has been secretly in love with Eddie, Cusack, for years. Reviews of the film were generally unfavorable. Critics felt that despite its famous cast, the movie lacked sympathetic characters and was only funny in spurts. A commercial success, it grossed over 138 million US dollars worldwide. However, in fall 2001, Roberts teamed with Erin Brockovich director Steven Soderbergh for Ocean's Eleven, a comedy crime caper film and remake of the 1960 Rat Pack film of the same name, featuring an ensemble cast including George Clooney, Brad Pitt, and Matt Damon. Roberts played Tess Ocean, the ex-wife of leader Danny Ocean Clooney, originally played by Angie Dickinson, who was dating a casino owner played by Andy Garcia. In preparation for her role, Roberts studied Dickinson's performance be watching the original film at least seven times in order to get her part right. A success with critics and at the box office alike, Ocean's Eleven became the fifth highest grossing film of the year with a total of 450 million US dollars worldwide. In 2003, Roberts was cast in Mike Newell's drama film Mona Lisa Smile, also starring Kirsten Dunst, Maggie Gyllenhaal, and Julia Stiles. Roberts received a record 25 million US dollars for her portrayal of a forward-thinking art history professor at Wellesley College in 1953, the highest ever earned by an actress until then. The film garnered largely lukewarm reviews by critics, who found it predictable and safe. In 2004, Roberts replaced Kate Blanchett in Mike Nichols's Closer, a romantic drama film written by Patrick Marber, based on his award-winning 1997 play of the same name. The film also starred Jude Law, Natalie Portman, and Clive Owen. Also in 2004, she reprised the role of Tess Ocean in the sequel Ocean's 12. The film was deliberately much more unconventional than the first, epitomized by a sequence in which Roberts' character impersonates the real-life Julia Roberts, due to what the film's characters believe is their strong resemblance. Though less well-reviewed than Eleven, the film became another major success at the box office, with a gross of 363 million US dollars worldwide, mostly from its international run. Unlike all the male cast members, Roberts did not appear in the series' third and final installment, Ocean's 13, 2007, due to script issues. In 2005, she was featured in the music video for the single Dream Girl by the Dave Matthews Band, it was her first music video appearance. Roberts appeared in the Hollywood Reporter's list of the 10 highest-paid actresses every year from 2002, when the magazine began compiling its list, to 2005. Besides providing her voice for roles in the 2006 animated films The Ant Bully and Charlotte's Web, Roberts made her Broadway debut on April 19, 2006, as Nan in a revival of Richard Greenberg's 1997 play Three Days of Rain opposite Bradley Cooper and Paul Rudd. Although the play grossed nearly one U.S. dollar million in ticket sales during its first week and was a commercial success throughout its limited run, 
Her performance drew criticism. Ben Brantley of the New York Times described Roberts as being fraught with self consciousness, especially in the first act, and, only glancingly acquainted with the two characters she plays. Brantley also criticized the overall production, writing that it's almost impossible to discern its artistic virtues from this wooden and splintered interpretation, directed by Joe Mantello. Writing in the New York Post, Clive Barnes declared, hated the play. To be sadly honest, even hated her. At least I like the rain, even if three days of it can seem an eternity. Her next film was Charlie Wilson's War, with Tom Hanks and Philip Seymour Hoffman, directed by Mike Nichols. Roberts played socialite Joanne Herring, the love interest of Democratic Texas Congressman Charles Wilson. It was released on December 21, 2007, to critical acclaim, with Roberts eventually earning her sixth Golden Globe nomination. Fireflies in the Garden an independent drama in which Roberts played a mother whose death sets the story in motion, also starred Ryan Reynolds and Willem Dafoe. The film was screened at the 2008 Berlin International Film Festival and was subsequently shown in European cinemas. It did not get a North American release until 2011. In 2009, Roberts starred with Clive Owen in the moderately successful comic thriller Duplicity, playing a CIA agent collaboration with another spy to carry out a complicated con. For her performance, she received her seventh Golden Globe nomination. Also in 2009, Lancome announced that Roberts would become their global ambassador for their company. In 2010, Roberts played a U.S. Army captain on a one day leave, as part of a large ensemble cast, in the romantic comedy Valentine's Day, and starred as an author finding herself following a divorce in the film adaptation of Eat Pray Love. While she received $3 million U.S. million up front against 3% of the gross for her six-minute role in Valentine's Day, Eat Pray Love had the highest debut at the box office for Roberts in a top-billed role since America's Sweethearts. Later in the year, she signed a five-year extension with Lancome for Million. In 2011, she appeared as a college teacher and the love interest of a middle-aged man returning to education in the romantic comedy Larry Crown, opposite Tom Hanks, who directed and played the title role. The movie received generally mediocre reviews with only 35% of the 175 Rotten Tomatoes reviews giving it high ratings, although Roberts's comedic performance was praised. In Mirror Mirror, 2012, the Tarsim Singh adaptation of Snow White, Roberts portrayed Queen Clementiana, Snow White's evil stepmother, opposite Lily Collins. In 2013, Roberts starred alongside Meryl Streep and Ewan McGregor in the black comedy drama about a dysfunctional family that reunites into the familial house when their patriarch suddenly disappears. Her performance earned her nominations for the Golden Globe Award, Screen Actors Guild Award, Critics' Choice Award, and Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress, amongst other accolades. It was her fourth Academy Award nomination. In 2014, Robert starred as Dr. Emma Bruckner, a character based on Dr. Linda Laubenstein, in the television adaptation of Larry Kramer's AIDS era play, The Normal Heart, which aired on HBO, the film was critically acclaimed in Vanity Fair, in its review, wrote, Roberts, meanwhile, Homes with Righteous, Aaron Brokovici in anger. Between this and August, Osage County, she's carving out a nice new niche for herself, playing brittle women who show their love and concern through explosive temper. Her role garnered her a nomination for the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Miniseries or a Movie. She also narrated Women in Hollywood, an episode of the second season of, in 2014. In 2015, Roberts appeared in Givenchy's Spring Summer Campaign, and starred as a grieving mother opposite Nicole Kidman and Chiwetela Ejiofor in the little scene film Secret in Their Eyes, a remake of the 2009 Argentine film of Thesame Name both based on the novel La Pregunta de Sus Ojos by author Eduardo Sacheri. In 2016, she reunited with Gary Marshall again to appear as an accomplished author who gave her a child for adoption in the romantic comedy Mother's Day, opposite Jennifer Aniston, Kate Hudson, Jason Sudeikis, and Timothy Oliphant. The film received overwhelmingly negative reviews, but budgeted at $25 million U.S. million, was a moderate box office success grossing $48.5 million U.S. dollars. She also starred as a television director in the thriller Money Monster, directed by Jodie Foster and alongside George Clooney and Jack O'Connell. In Wonder, 2017, the film adaptation of the 2012 novel of the same name by R.J. Blasio, Roberts played the mother of a boy with Treacher Collins syndrome. 
The Times felt Roberts lifts every one of her scenes in wonder to near sublime places, as part of a positive reception, and with a worldwide gross of 305.9 million US dollars, Wonder emerged as one of Roberts' most widely seen films. Roberts took on the role of a caseworker at a secret government facility in her first television series, Homecoming, which premiered on November 2, 2018 on Amazon Video. Roberts runs the production company Red Ohm Films with her sister, Lisa Roberts Gillen, and Marissa Yerskill. Through Red Ohm, Roberts served as an executive producer of the first four films of the American Girl film series, based on the American Girl line of dolls, released between 2004 and 2008. Roberts had romantic relationships with actors Jason Patrick, Liam Neeson, Kiefer Sutherland, Dylan McDermott, and Matthew Perry. She was briefly engaged to Sutherland. They broke up three days before their scheduled wedding on June 11, 1991. On June 25, 1993, she married country singer Lyle Lovett. The wedding took place at St. James Lutheran Church in Marion, Indiana. They separated in March 1995 and subsequently divorced up from 1998 to 2001, Roberts stated actor Benjamin Bratt. Roberts and her husband, cameraman Daniel Mortar, met on the set of her film The Mexican in 2000 while she was still dating Bratt. At the time, Mutter was married to Vera Steinberg. He filed for divorce a little over a year later, and after it was finalized, he and Roberts wed on July 4, 2002, at her ranch in Taos, New Mexico. Together. They have three children, twin daughter, Hazel Patricia Mutter, twin son, Phineas Finn Walter Mutter, born November 28, 2004, and son, Henry Daniel Mutter, born June 18, 2007. In 2010, Roberts disclosed, in an interview for Elle magazine that she believes in and practices Hinduism. Roberts is a devotee of the guru named Karli Baba, Maharaj G, a picture of whom drew Roberts to Hinduism. In September 2009, Swami Dharm Dev of Ashram Hari Mandir in Patauti, where Roberts was shooting Eat Pray Love, gave her children new names after Hindu gods Lakshmi for Hazel, Ganesh for Phineas and Krishna Balram for Henry. Roberts has given her time and resources to UNICEF as well as to other charitable organizations. On May 10, 1995, Roberts arrived in Port-au-Prince, as she said, to educate myself. The poverty she found was overwhelming. My heart is just bursting, she said. UNICEF officials hoped that her six-day visit would trigger an outburst of giving. Ten million U.S. dollars in aid was sought at the time. In 2000, Roberts narrated *Silent Angels*, a documentary about Rett syndrome, a neurodevelopmental disorder, which was shot in Los Angeles, Baltimore, and New York. The documentary was designed to help raise public awareness about the disease. In July 2006. Earth Biofuels announced Roberts as a spokeswoman for the company and as chair of the company's newly formed advisory board promoting the use of renewable fuels. She also supports Gucci's Chime for Change campaign that aims to spread female empowerment. Roberts was the voice of Mother Nature in a 2014 short film for Conservation International, intended to raise awareness about climate change. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.